Sasha, thank you for joining us. I understand your 19-year-old sister is among the hostages. Yes, my little sister, uh, her name is Karina. She's one of the hostages in uh, in Gaza, right? Uh, what what happened? Was she at the, the concert or was she in one of the kibbutz? What, do you know anything about what happened? Uh, she was uh, near the kibbutz uh, called uh, Nachal Oz. Uh, she called us on the morning on the, uh, of the 7th of October and said uh, that the uh, missiles uh, are fired toward Israel and she's in a bomb shelter. And after a while, uh, the place, uh, the bomb shelter she where she was in was uh, raided by terrorists that uh, probably they are the ones who took her. And, and you've had confirmation, have you, that she's being held? Uh, so we saw we saw a video on a Telegram channel uh, on which uh, we identified her. Uh, she had blood on her face. Uh, she was in some kind of a vehicle or jeep uh, of the terrorists. And after uh, we saw that video, it was on the 7th of October evening. Um, the the military came to our door and said that, that they have checked some things, and she's a, she's a captive uh, by a terror organization. I'm so sorry. That's 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 really hard. T tell us a bit about your sister, would you, about Karina? Yes. Yeah, so you know, I tell these days a lot about her, and I each time I remember new new things. I I can say that I remember almost everything since the day she was born. We have a five-year gap between us. And I remember her since the day I came to the hospital and she was delivered till the last day I uh, I saw her. She's, uh, she's very lovely and, uh, you know, maybe I'm subjective because she's my sister, but I know a lot of people will tell that uh, she's very responsible and she always tries to help people. She's a... Uh, she, she's like a light coming out from her face uh, because she wants to help. She wants to mm. to give love to this world. And she's very childish and innocent. You know, she likes to sing and uh, dance and cook. And she likes all those uh, cosmetic stuff. And um, she's she's a much more more of a better person than than I am I can surely say that I'm sure she wouldn't say that I'm sure she she thinks as much as, as of you as you do of her um, maybe uh, that wonderful personality that wonderful spirit she has is, is some kind of comfort for the other hostages who are being held yes I uh, I really want to think that she's strong I know that she's strong but uh, of course uh, I also think that she's afraid and as we count uh, days here at home, I do not know how, if if the hostages even know how much they are held there. And uh, I'm sure that she's trying and uh, to stay strong and she won't give, give up easily. And if uh, she's held uh, together with another hostages, so yes, I am sure that uh, they're all uh, together trying to comfort each other. And uh, you're with the rest of your family, I take it, your your parents, the, the rest of your family. How are you all coping? How are you all getting through every day? It's 17 days now is a long time. It must be taking its toll on you all. Yes, so w we personally feel that since the 7th of October, it has been like one long day that never ends. At first, uh, I took action and my parents were devastated and broken. They they didn't know what to do and I just uh, took everything on my shoulders. I started to giving uh, to give interviews to foreign media, to our Israeli media, try to so people will know who my sister is and to try address the world and other governments to help us to spread the word what is going on in Israel and to help us uh, not only as a nation, but as human beings. And since then, I am still the one uh, who is more active in our family. But uh, my parents are getting stronger each day because they understand they must, uh, they must stay strong for her return. So she's, she's called Karina, she's 19 years old. And she's being uh, yes. held by terrorists in Gaza. Um, we're so, so sorry uh, that you're going through this. And uh, we hope uh, that uh, you and your family get the best possible news one of these days. We're all praying for you, Sasha. Love to you. Love to your family. Thank you for talking to us.
Thank you very much.